Hey guys, Sock here from Sock e Tech, and in today's video, we are going to be doing a comparison of a specific feature on the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra versus the One OnePlus 8 Pro. And of course, in essence, we're also comparing One UI to the Oxygen OS in relation to this feature. And the feature I'm talking about has to do with hiding applications, hiding files, hiding photos, hiding videos under a lockdown. Now on this phone, the feature is known as the secure folder. On this one, the feature is known as the hidden space and the app locker. However, the secure folder on the Samsung is much more complex and superior to the one on the OnePlus 8. And in this video, I wanna demonstrate that because I was told by people, I don't know what I'm talking about, and that OnePlus 8 also has the same features that the Samsung phones have, but that's not the case. So let me show you what I'm talking about. First, I'm gonna talk about the OnePlus 8 because it's a very simple, straightforward process. So basically you go to your app drawer, okay? You swipe to the right and you can access what is known as the hidden space. And then you can put your password or your fingerprint, which activates the hidden space. In the hidden space, what you can do is you can hide applications. So I can tap on plus right over here. I can hide the calculator application. And then when I tap on this one, it's in the hidden space. So when I go out over here, I do not see the calculator or I do not see the other application that I've hidden, which is the Best Buy application. So the apps are hidden, nobody can see them. It's a nice little feature. And then we have one more version of this. We go to the settings, all right? We go into utilities and what we have here is the app locker. So when I tap on app locker, what happens is, again, I put my password in, okay? With this one, you cannot use your fingerprint, but here again, I'm gonna tap on add applications. I'm just gonna say, uh, let's say camera, okay? And I'm gonna just gonna add the camera and I'm gonna go back out. Now, when I go over here, I can still see the camera application. It is, it is right over here. I tap on it, but I can't access it unless I put in my fingerprint and then it's gonna launch the camera application. And then of course, like I said, we have the hidden space, which is a little bit different. The application that you hide actually disappears uh, from the app drawer. But the application you lock, such as a counter application, asks you to put in your pin number to activate that application. So that's what we have on the OnePlus 8. Now on the Samsung side, we have something a little bit more complex. It's known as the secure folder. I'm gonna swipe over, I have the secure folder right here and I've customized it, I renamed it to secret files, okay? Just, uh, just for the sake of demonstration. Now when I click on this, again, you have to put your fingerprint inside and when you do, you get access to a secure environment that's under a total lockdown. All the applications you're seeing right here have a copy in the public space, which is right over here. That's the public space. That's all the public space. And then when you go to the secret files, tap on this one, these are privatized copies of the actual, of the public app. So these applications have nothing to do with the actual public applications sitting in the app drawer. For example, if I launch this gallery, okay, I've got a bunch of photos I hid, I hid inside here. When I go to the gallery that's outside, it's got a whole bunch of other things as you can see. Additionally, if there's any photo that I wanna hide individually, I can press and hold, okay? I can tap on this button and I can say, move to secret files. Now, when I put my password, that file transfers over and disappears from my public gallery. However, when I go to my secret files and I put my PIN number in or my fingerprint, now it's gonna show up right here. So with this one, you can hide individual files into the secret space. And additionally, if you're in here, you can tap on add applications. You can hide any application you want in the secure folder. But the thing is, it doesn't just hide the application from the public. It's still gonna be here in your app drawer. But what it's gonna do is it's gonna create a secure copy of that application and it's gonna dump it here and everything you do on that application in the hidden space, in the secure environment, stays in the secure environment. Let me show you what I'm talking about. 
if I go out here, if I take this camera, and if I take a photo, let me just cancel that, take a photo, what happened was, because I took this photo from the camera application that's in the secure environment, it's only going to show in the gallery application, which is also in the secure folder. When I go to my public gallery, all right, right here, it's not going to show up here. So that's one of the powers of the secure folder. Another amazing thing with the secure folder is if I go over here, again, I can tap on it, it goes inside. I can go to settings, actually, I can go to the customize, and I can change the way it looks. I can make it look like it's nothing special. I can just go like this and just say finance, all right? Now it's completely obscure. Nobody knows what it is, all right? With this phone, if you go over here, you try to access the applications, there's a password. So now somebody knows you're hiding something, right? With this one, uh, when you change the finance, nobody's gonna even suspect. Everybody knows finance folders are locked, okay? So you can hide things more intelligently if that's what you want. And this is not just to hide naughty photos and stuff like that. You can hide your business documents, uh, you can hide high value documents, you can hide whatever you want, all right? It's not just for your private naughty photos. And you can tap at the bottom here when you're inside the uh, secure environment and you can add any type of file you want from this menu. And there's so much more you can do by going to the settings. Uh, you can even back up the secure environment to your cloud in an encrypted fashion. All right, so I just want to put to rest the ridiculous idea that the hidden applications and the app locker on the OnePlus 8, which is a very simple thing, in any way equals to the secure folder on the Samsung smartphones. Something like this might come to this phone in the future, but right now, this is better. Now, some people confuse the secure folder with the parallel apps feature in the OnePlus 8 Pro, and again, uh, that's wrong. So if I go to my settings here, what I can do is if I go to my utilities, okay, I have the parallel applications. So only these five apps right here are supported and some of the applications when you install them will show up here, but basically you can run two accounts off of Facebook by enabling parallel applications. We have the same feature here. You go to the settings, you go to advanced features, then you scroll down and you go to dual messenger feature. And again, as you install applications, they're gonna show up right here, but you can do the same thing here. It says supported apps will appear here after you install them. You can run multiple accounts for these applications, which is pretty cool, but don't confuse any of this stuff with the secure folder. All right, so that brings us to the end of this video. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below and let me know. And for now, guys, have a fantastic day, all right?